What's up everyone and welcome back to the Ground Sound Studio. Today we have Columbus based photographer here, Andy Yates, the man of the hour, the photographer of Columbus to talk about. Andy, my brother, I appreciate you coming in here today. So we're gonna talk, uh, we're gonna chat a little bit about the Columbus scene here and kind of the photography scene going on here in Columbus. So Andy, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah brother. man, What's it's good to be with you. Man. I got a meetup coming in another month. Actually, less than a month. It's like, what, two weeks for real? It's on the 20th. The last one was huge, so this one's about to be bigger. I've just been in the streets making fire, bro. So tell them a little bit about the first meetup that we were able to produce. So the first meetup, I just decided to put together a little something for the community. And basically, photography's helped me as a whole and opened a lot of doors for me to express myself. So I figured why not? put all my connections together and open some doors for people. And we actually brought out like 60 some people the first time. And so hopefully those 60 people come and bring a whole other 60 people too. So hopefully it's big. No, it was a nuts. It was a very, very uh, amazing event, guys. Tons of creatives showed up. Everyone in the music, art, photography, models, break dancers, mm -hmm. hip hop rappers, everything like that showed up and it was an absolutely amazing yeah, event. So big. what's the date on that one? The date's the 20th at Goodale Park at 3 p.m. Be there in your best Halloween costume because we're not playing. Make sure to be there, guys. So getting into it a little bit more. So for the people who don't know who Mr. Andy Yates is, tell them a little bit about who you are. So look, I'm Andy Yates or known as Yatesy. I'm from Columbus, born and raised my whole life. I actually started photography fresh out of high school. I took it as like a bogus class for sports and I ended up doing a black and white film and it was cool. And then I did digital and fell in love with digital since that's just what's in right now. And I found my passion for it and just took off sprinting and I haven't looked back. So do you remember some of your early pictures that you took when you first started in photography? Every single one of them, bro. So give me a little uh, synopsis of what that was like to now, you know, some of your old, old, very, very first pictures to now some of the content that you're making now. Well, from the jump, if you look at my work, I've always had an angle to what I shoot. So that's like to start, but my vision wasn't broad and I had a very like closed eye to the world. Like I didn't really see the world for what it was and see perspectives and things like I really just saw something like you sitting there and I just take the picture brought on and now it's more I want colors to coordinate I want the background to set a mood I want shadows and tones and colors so that way it just creates a whole entire mood and expresses how that person feels or how I feel and it's a huge change like a drastic change from the jump to right now. What would you say photography means to you? To me, it means, honestly, it's a way of expressing myself and to be somebody, but it's also a way to help others. I really enjoy helping others, and it's really dope when you take some really cool pictures and you show them, and they're just like, dude, no way, like, what? And it's, that's, like, the coolest part of it all, is just being able to please somebody else like that with your talent. So I actually, as you guys know, moved here four months ago and didn't realize the photography scene was as big as what it is here in Columbus. I first met Andy, we went out shooting, and then he kind of just took the ropes from there and showed me who everyone is in the Columbus industry for photography, the models and everything like that. In your opinion, from you living here longer than I have, what do you see the photography scene here in Columbus is like? Dude, honestly, I see it as a really, like it's not really shown off a lot. I see it as a hidden talent. Like music has taken over a lot and everybody wants stuff with music, but the creative art sides, let's say like paintings, designs, fashion, photography, video work, it's all hidden. There's so much hidden talent out there that, I mean, in the long run, if we keep doing what we're doing now and putting light on all that, it could be really, really big. Like it could be, Columbus could be like Chicago, like top photography school. Like you could have a city that's meant for visual arts, like, and it could all be there. But right now I feel like it's just really hidden and we're working on really just shining a major spotlight on it. What do you think needs to happen for that to happen? Honestly, I think everyone needs to just support each other and love each other. I mean, we're all after the same goal. We all want to be rich or we all want to be famous or we all want to have a spotlight or we all want to be really successful. Whatever that goal is, we all are after the same thing at the end. So why hate on what 
you're doing or what he's doing or what anyone's doing when all I could say is, hey, I don't really know how to do this. How could you help me? And then all it does is create a friendship or a business partner or some type of relationship that can just grow. And we can all grow, but I mean, that's what we're working on right now. I mean, a lot of the love is starting to come in and create, but yes. it's just a start, bro. It's just a start. So from the event that uh, you hosted, you saw, we, we saw obviously a lot of different creatives mix and match together. Mm -hmm. How do you think all of these creatives mix so well together from being photographers to, you know, the music industry, the clothing industry? How did, how did you find it to mix all so perfectly together? I mean, it just goes back to being creative. We're all creative and we're all trying to do creative things to make something big happen for one another or for ourselves or for the city. So, I mean, I think it just flows so well because we all, the people who are really in it to work and grow and be creative are the ones who will, who make that flow because we're all down to just work all the time or link up and go shoot in the city or shoot a music video or drop a visual to us shooting or something that mm -hmm. it all just flows. Like those right people will just all find each other and they'll just support it and stay with it. But the other people, that's where it doesn't really flow. Completely understandable. Andy, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Dude, I see myself as the most successful photographer. I see myself traveling the world, taking pictures. I see myself traveling all over the country, everywhere, just shooting, doing what I love, capturing people's moments, lives, all of it. Now, last couple questions here. On the family side, has your family been very supportive of you doing your whole photography gig? You want the real answer? Do you I, want me to tell you what you want to hear? I really want the real answer. The real answer is only, like, not even a fourth of my family really supports it. My really? mom and my stepdad do. My dad, eh. And then the rest of my family, they just, nah. They made fun of me for it. So do you find this as an escape for you then? Mm hmm It gives me a way to prove everybody wrong. It gives me a way to say I'm different than you, and this is what I'm going to do. And then by doing it, they're all like, oh, like you weren't kidding. I'm like, nope. No I'm kidding. My brother and my dog, Andy Yates, here, dude. Thank I appreciate you, you coming on. Where should they go check you out at, brother? Hey, check me out on Instagram at Yatesy with a Z, Y A T E Z Y underscore. And that's all I have. What should they go check out? You should go check me out as a whole. Go check out my, my website that's on my page. Go check out all my work that's on my page. And go check out. Two of the other best photographers in the city, Killer Aesthetics and Malik Photography. And go check out my clothing brand that I'm sponsored with, Overstand Clothing. Shout out to my dog, Troy. Y'all made it happen. And shout out to my bro right here with Ground Sounds. And shout out to my bro, Gerald, with Columbus Creates because we out here creating. There it is, guys. So make sure to go check out Andy. He's been a brother of mine. He's helped out. He's really guided me through Columbus, guys. And he is the biggest up and coming photographer here in Columbus. So make sure to go check him out. And also make sure to go check out everything Ground Sounds related. Go check out the Facebook, the YouTube, the Twitter, the Instagram, the website. Go check all that shit out, guys. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, make sure to go to the event. When is it? Hey, the event. Listen closely. Halloween costume contest. Don't come with anything lame. Don't come with anything basic. Mm -hmm. We're going crazy. It is October 20th, 3 p.m. to start at Goodale Park on the basketball courts. Three basketball be courts. Be there or be square, fam. Be there or be square. Make sure that you guys dress up. It's going to be an awesome event. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one. Be there at the event. We out.